evening, the state television company Westerner Minya represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, 20 refugees caught in Lake Van, 29th year of Maraga massacre. Perkebeck terrorists protest against leadership for not receiving salary for fighting in Artsakh. Armenian causes start collecting signatures on bipartisan U.S. House letter urging President Joe Biden to recognize genocide. Putin and Erdogan discuss settlement of Artsakh conflict. A new butterfly species on Mount Ararat. Support to Western Armenia TV. According to the governor's office, a public order patrol in the El Kenli village near the coastal province of Lake Van, Western Armenia, conducted an inspection, noticing a suspicious boat in Lake Van. 17 Afghan, one Pakistani, and two Bangladeshi migrants who entered the country illegally were found in a boat. Immigrants were fined 94,920 liras as a penalty for violating the international law on the protection of foreigners. The immigrants will be handed over to Bagash Provincial Immigration Department after the procedures. Units of the Azerbaijani Defense Ministry, internal troops and special forces attacked the village of Maraga in the Martaget region of Artsakh on April 10, 1992, carrying out a real massacre. The villagers remembered that a heavy artillery shelling started at 6 o'clock in the morning. The self-defense forces managed to repel the first two attacks, but in the afternoon the Azerbaijani troops invaded the village with the help of armored vehicles. The Azeri militants remained in the village for only a few hours, but during this time, they managed to almost completely destroy one of the largest villages of Artsakh, with a population of almost 5,000. Many of the villagers managed to escape. About 50 people, those who did not have time or could not leave Maraga, were killed with extreme cruelty. 49 citizens were taken prisoner. Some of the hostages were later returned, and many became physically and morally disabled. The fate of 19 people is still unknown. Armenian units managed to liberate Maraga at midnight. Those entering the village saw a terrible picture. Maraga was actually drowning in blood. People were collecting the remains of their relatives, neighbors, and other villagers and burying them. The militants of Suleyman Shah pro-Turkish terrorist group that fought against Artsakh in 2020 from the Azerbaijani side organized a protest in Afrin, demanding their salary, which they have been waiting for a few months. Armen Press reports, citing ANF News, they blame for that their commander, Abu Hamsha, who, according to the militants, absorbed the money received from their Turkish sponsors. The militants shared the video of their protest in a Telegram channel. We went to Nagorno-Karabakh together with the Turkish state. We have victims. Commander of the brigade, Abu Hamsha, took our money in the money of the families of the victims. We even have no money for food. We don't accept this, one of the militants said. The Congressional Armenian Caucus has started collecting signatures on bipartisan U.S. House letter calling on President Joe Biden to join with Congress in clearly and directly recognizing the genocide against Armenians in his April 24 statement, the Armenian National Committee of America reports. The petition has been initiated by Congressman Adam Chief, Gus Rakis, Frank Pellon Jr., David J. Valadao, and Jake Spire. Last month, 38 U.S. Senators called on President Joe Biden to do the same. President of Russia Vladimir Putin held a telephone conversation with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, during which they referred to Artsakh issue settlement. Armor Press was informed from the press service of the Kremlin. Recep Tayyip Erdogan highly assessed Russia's steps for ensuring the further stabilization of the situation and the continuous implementation of November 9, 2020 and January 11, 2021 trilateral statements. Vladimir Putin informed the Turkish president about the results of the recent talks with the Armenian and Azerbaijani leaders. Both sides expressed opinion about the necessity to activate works for the restoration of transport infrastructures in the southern Caucasus. The press release of Kremlin reads, A new butterfly species called Ancylosis igdirensis was discovered as a result of research conducted for three years on Mount Fararat, western Armenia. The project was supported by the Department of Scientific Research Projects of Igdir University. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is the voice of deported Armenians spread around the world. A TV that has a mission to present Western Armenia and daily life, culture and millennial history of its indigenous people to the world. Each of us witnesses how our two neighboring countries, Azerbaijan and Turkey, impotently want to falsify history, assimilate our culture and if possible destroy the vast material heritage left by our ancestors. Our TV is at the forefront of preserving the spiritual and material heritage of Armenians, cooperating with Armenian and international organizations. No matter how much our enemies want to destroy our values, 
our culture, our history. They will not succeed. As our struggle is fair, we are fighting for our homeland and our identity. We need the help and support of each of you in this struggle. Together we can do more. Now I present you Agung Lorik Jan. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.